God be with you this Wednesday in Holy Week. Uh, we're invited through our lectionary and our devotion called Christ in Our Home from our partners in ministry at Augsburg Fortress that we share here at 9 these mornings to the book of Hebrews, um, the 12th chapter, just a few verses here, but um, rich, rich verses for our life together. Um, just shared a nice time of morning prayer with the community here at Cross of Hope um, as our Holy Week continues to unfold together. So we'll read these three verses together if you'd like and then share this devotion. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. Wednesday in Holy Week, again, today, the title of our devotion that invites our focus to that first verse that we just read, surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run the race that is set before us. Who is in your cloud of witnesses? Perhaps a parent, a grandparent, or long ago a best friend. Just before today's verses, the writer of Hebrews names witnesses in the faith who cheer us on even now. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Moses, Samuel, and others. During a small group adult Bible study, I was fascinated. I was fascinating. It was fascinating. Or I was fascinated, maybe. Uh, two readers became the voices of brothers, Jacob and Esau, competing for their father Isaac's blessing. Jacob cheats Esau, con conni conniving to win the blessing for himself. After Curtis read Esau's despairing plea, Have you only one blessing, Father? Bless me also. He announced tearfully, That was me, Esau, is me. Curtis had felt again his childhood hurt over his father's preference for his brother. But in speaking Esau's question out loud, he'd also realized that God knew his own story. What a gift! Scripture stories are full of characters God knows deeply, with voices like our own. What voices in Scripture have cheered you on? What voices in Scripture have cheered you on? A question for this Holy Week. An invitation to pray with these words from Christ in our home, if you'd like. Dearest Jesus, thank you for Scripture stories that draw me closer to you. Amen. As this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in prayer persevere in prayer, and be invited to lift up prayers for siblings who struggle to feel valued. And may God bless you and strengthen you with the gift of grace to show everyone's inherent value as God's children. God bless you and God hold you, beloved.